hello viewers welcome back to dmg chemistry classes and in today's video i am going to discuss the concept of standard state and standard enthalpy of formation in my previous video we discussed thermochemistry and i told you that thermochemistry is a branch of chemistry which deals with heat changes that is heat evolved or absorbed during chemical reactions what we didn't discuss that how it is different from chemical energetics so chemical energetics is a branch of chemistry which deals with the energy changes during chemical reactions but in this case the energy changes could be in the form of heat light or the electricity what in case of thermochemistry we study only heat changes that is heat evolved or absorbed during chemical reactions we also discussed that heat evolved or absorbed during any chemical reaction depends upon the conditions under which the reaction is performed and if the reaction is performed under constant volume then the heat change qv will be equal to the change in internal energy and if the reaction is performed at constant pressure then the heat evolved or absorbed will be equal to the change in enthalpy and we also know that majority of the chemical reactions are studied in the vessels open to atmosphere so all those reactions are occurring under constant pressure so in these reactions what we measure we measure change in enthalpy delta h understood so now let us discuss this concept of standard state so the molar enthalpy of a substance depends upon temperature and pressure molar enthalpy mean to say the enthalpy of one mole of a substance so i can write that molar enthalpy of a substance is the function of temperature and pressure and if every reactant or product of a chemical reaction uh, is at is at 298.15 degree kelvin temperature and one atmospheric pressure then the enthalpy change during this reaction will be called as standard enthalpy change then and it will be represented by symbol delta h not and it will be called as standard enthalpy change of the chemical reaction okay and these conditions conditions of temperature that is 298.15 degree kelvin and uh, pressure equal to 1 atmospheric are called as standard state conditions understood and these conditions are also very important if we want to compare the change in enthalpy of two reactions because for the comparison purpose both reaction must occur under similar or under same conditions or their reactants or products must be under same conditions further i have told you in uh, in my one of the videos that the absolute value of the internal energy cannot be determined because the internal energy is the sum of different types of energies this means that internal energy is equal to nuclear energy plus electronic energy plus rotational energy vibrational energy or the translational kinetic energy so the absolute uh, so uh, the value of internal energy depends upon the different types of uh, energies and i have also told you that some of the quantities here in this expression cannot be measured exactly so this means that absolute value of internal energy of a substance cannot be determined so we know that enthalpy is equal to enthalpy h is equal to u plus pv and enthalpy depends upon u when we cannot determine the absolute value of u that is internal energy this means that absolute value of enthalpy cannot be determined okay then to calculate or to know the standard molar enthalpy of a substance we follow a convention and that convention is that standard molar enthalpy of every element of every element in its most stable 
state will be taken as zero okay for example the st uh, most stable state or the form of hydrogen is hydrogen gaseous okay so here the standard molar enthalpy of hydrogen will be equal to zero okay likewise the most stable state of oxygen is o2 gaseous so its standard molar enthalpy will be equal to zero likewise the standard molar enthalpies of bromine, bromine liquid will be equal to zero and iodine solid will also equal to be zero understood and further if any element uh, any element exhibit allotropy then the standard molar enthalpy of most stable allotrope will be taken as zero for example diamond and graphites are the allotropes of carbon but graphite is thermodynamically more stable than diamond so the molar standard molar enthalpy of graphite will be taken as zero and in case of sulfur sulfur rhombic is more stable than sulfur monoclinic so the standard uh, molar enthalpy of sulfur rhombic will be equal to zero understood so this is the convention and with the help of this convention we can calculate the standard molar enthalpy of a substance okay so let us understand it with an example to understand it let us consider a reaction and the reaction is it is half mole of hydrogen gaseous is reacting with half mole of iodine gaseous uh, to give us h1 mole of hi gaseous okay then the standard change in enthalpy or the change in enthalpy of this reaction will be that is delta r h not it will be equal to the sum of the enthalpies of products okay minus the sum of the enthalpies of the reactants understood so the enthalpy of products will be equal to that is enthalpy standard in enth molar enthalpy of hi minus half into standard molar enthalpy of hydrogen plus half into standard molar enthalpy of iodine okay and according to this convention the standard molar enthalpy of hydrogen and iodine will be equal to zero then we this term will be equal to zero and what we will have we will have delta r h not that is enthalpy change of this reaction will be equal to h not h i and what is h not h i this is the standard molar enthalpy of hydro iodic acid understood so the standard molar enthalpy of hydro iodic acid will be equal to the change in enthalpy which takes which will take place during this chemical reaction okay now this standard molar enthalpy of hydro iodic acid will also be called as its standard enthalpy of formation how if we see this reaction in this reaction one mole of hi is being formed okay hi is under standard conditions that is at temperature 298.15 degree kelvin and pressure one atmospheric so one mole of hi is being formed from its elements and its elements are hydrogen and iodine and these elements are also under standard conditions so here the standard molar enthalpy will be will also be called as its standard enthalpy of formation standard enthalpy of formation of hi so this is the symbol uh, of this standard enthalpy of formation formation of hi understood 
so now we can understand it that the standard molar enthalpy of hi is equal to what its standard enthalpy of formation and both are equal to what what that is change in enthalpy or the standard change in the molar enthalpy during this chemical reaction okay so now let us define this standard enthalpy of formation so standard enthalpy of formation standard enthalpy of formation is the is the enthalpy change enthalpy change accompanying enthalpy change accompanying the formation of one mole of a substance one mole of a substance in standard state in standard state in standard state sorry in standard state from its elements from its elements which are also present in standard state standard in standard state understood so this is the definition of the uh, this standard enthalpy of formation that is one mole of a compound will be formed that is a uh, uh, enthalpy change accompanying the formation of one mole of a compound in standard state from its constituent elements which are also present in standard state so let us explain it uh, with another example So we have a reaction that is carbon solid it is reacting with oxygen gaseous and giving us co2 gaseous and change in enthalpy of this reaction that is delta r h naught it is equal to minus 393.9 kilo joule per mole okay and in this reaction this change in enthalpy will be equal to the standard enthalpy of formation of carbon dioxide understood and why because here one mole of the carbon dioxide is being formed one mole of carbon dioxide is being formed from its elements and all the reactants and products they are present uh, under standard conditions okay so i can write that this is that is standard enthalpy of formation standard enthalpy of formation of co2 will be equal to minus 393.5 kilo joule per mole understood and let us consider another example that is 2h2 gaseous plus o2 gaseous giving us 2h2o gaseous and the enthalpy change of this reaction is equal to minus 571.6 kilo joule and if we see this reaction in this reaction also water is being formed from its constituent elements what here the enthalpy change of this reaction will not be called as its standard enthalpy of formation why because in this reaction how many moles two moles of water are being formed and according to definition of the standard enthalpy of formation how many moles of the compound should be formed only one mole of the compound should be formed this means that this heat change is for the two moles of waters and if we want to calculate the standard enthalpy of formation which is for the one mole we have to divide it by two then it will become what the standard enthalpy of formation of water so the standard enthalpy of formation 
of water will be equal to delta F H naught water it will be equal to minus 571.6 divided by 2 it will be equal to minus 285.8 kilojoule per mole so this will be the standard enthalpy of formation of water understood so this was all about this concept of standard state and uh, standard enthalpy of formation okay so please uh, subscribe my channel and like and share my videos and if you have any question regarding this video or my previous videos please don't hesitate you can leave your question in the comment box and i will definitely answer your questions so keep watching my videos thank you very much